Good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Today, I wanted to take a few moments to share the profile settings I am using for printing Pet G. Um, as you can see here, this is a test Benchy that I printed using the settings I'm going to show you. Uh, the only thing that I want to change is not have it sit on a raft. That way, you should get an even better. Uh, starting layers and a really nice base finish um, but outside of that I like the actual way this one turned out the details are really good yeah there's a few little areas where the details are kind of muddled um, especially like right up in here you can kind of see it's a little little messed up it's very minimal though um, but otherwise overall I really like the quality that this produced and I want to share that with you guys so if you go if you're starting out with pet G you have a good base to start with um, this was printed on an ender 3 pro that is virtually stock the only thing I changed on it was the bed springs I went to the stronger ones um, but otherwise you can get really good quality with pet G and you'll see the changes that I made are kind of minimal other than the fact that the heat in the profile I am using may or may not fit your particular pet G so just make sure you go with whatever the manufacturers temperature requirements are outside of that the rest of it should be pretty universal uh, for your pet G projects uh, give me a moment here I'm gonna get those pulled up and we'll discuss that further all right so I wanted to compare standard Cura settings for pet G versus my pet G um, profile now in order to get the quality and everything that you saw in the earlier part of the video where I showed you the case and the benchy um, I made a few changes so the first thing to take a look at is the quality now to be honest I ran them both at standard quality uh, 0.2 millimeter I didn't make any changes to this so the quality stays the same the next part was the shell and in all honesty I didn't make any changes now if you want to make changes obviously I would only recommend changing the wall line count to make your prints stronger um, too many though and it starts to get really thick and that slows your machine down and everything um, especially because later on you're gonna see why the quality I get is the way it is um, but yeah I didn't make any changes to this that's the only thing I would change if I made any changes um, but continuing down the list here we're gonna take a look at infill I didn't make any changes to the infill as well um, I didn't tweak any of these settings now infill again that's your judge on what you're printing um, I left it at 20% and I get really good prints um, but you know it's all based on what you're printing and what your structural needs are uh, for the material this is where I made some changes for some reason Cura wants to run pet G at 215 the pet G I'm running is um, stuff it's inland brand from micro center which according to the label prints at uh, two 25 to 240 I put it right in the middle at 235 well, I guess it's not right in the middle but I like that just to give me some leeway on it I also changed the build plate temperature to 65 for some reason when I ran it at 70 it uh the object got stuck really tight to my build surface and I'm running just the standard Ender 3 Pro with the magnetic bed and I just I don't know why I got stuck like that but I kind of cleaned it up by going to 65 degrees now where I made some real changes and this is the same thing you'll have seen in my TPU video is the speed um, I slowed it way down and the reason I did this is for some reason I got a lot better quality um, very smooth looking body for pet G again not all these settings will work for everybody um, some people might have different machines that can run at different speeds I just like to say that this is where I start and you saw the quality of the print earlier I was I'm getting really nice lines I'm getting really nice um, 
definition and on the benchy it's it's really good detail granted the benchies don't have a ton of detail um, but for what they're testing they do and I just think that it's a perfect speed for it yes it's gonna take longer to print and again if your machine is capable of doing faster speeds go for it my machine I just I like slowing it down um, it just seems to produce an overall better print. And the same thing with the TPU as we did in my previous video when I shared my build or my print profile for that. Cooling wise, everything is the same. Um, didn't really change anything there. Some people can experiment with different fan speeds and stuff like that. I just like running it at full bore. And then for build plate adhesion, now I did test three different build plates. I tried skirt and I seemed to not get as good a test. Now, maybe it was before I got the, the profile tuned and I could run it again. Um, I'm running it as a raft. The raft seems to work really well and it does great for the Benchy. It also does great for the NVIDIA Jetson case I showed you earlier in the video. Um, granted that the NVIDIA Jetson case has some strange uh like look to it i don't know why that's doing that but the rest of it looks pretty nice um i also did try it with a skirt or not a skirt excuse me a um brim the brim works it is tight and hard to cut off uh, i did that on my other benchy and it worked but like i say i think the raft gives me the best benchy it may not give me the best bottom finish and if you can make the bottom finish better please share the tweaks you do to the profile because i'd really like to make my pet g so much better again i just want to use this as a starting off point i think a lot of people are going to enjoy this um but you know you got to start somewhere and i've been playing with pet g for a while and i really want to get pet g uh, working really really well on my machines and especially for ender threes being able to do multiple materials is quite amazing um, I am going to do more 3d printing videos. I've got some cool 3d printing projects coming up So I hope you guys enjoy that if you like this video Please remember to like and subscribe if you have any questions or comments make sure to put them in the uh, comments below as well as I did share this profile and you can click on the link in the description to download it. This profile I think is a great starting point for people who are working with PETG for the first time. It is not a tuned profile. Um, I hope that as people use it, they tune it better and then they share it back. Um, if you are working with TPU, I have my TPU video in the description as well. And that will walk you through kind of the same idea I did here with TPU and the changes I made there to get a really good quality TPU print. Um, until next time, have a great night.